my friends, this is Clover from Xinjiang Hua Yin, a manufacturer specializing in developing, manufacturing, and installing waste to all your recycling plants for 28 years. Today, I will share with you some of the frequently asked questions and answers to these questions so that you will have more information about this project. Now, let's get started. Question number one, what should be prepared to start this project? Well, you may do the following things to prepare for this project. First, you may do a market research about raw materials. Is it easy to get tires or plastics? The collecting cost? How many tons can you collect per day? Second, consult all your sales channels and all your price. See where you can sell the oil to and how much the price is. Third, consult local EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, or PCB, Pollution Control Board, about license. Huayin will send you relevant documents to assist you in getting license. Fourth, prepare an industrial land for this project. The land area is up to your plant capacity, how often you collect raw materials, and how often you sell the final products. Fifth, prepare fund. Sixth, you may consult whether there is any governmental subsidy or support for this environmental project. Question number two, can tires and plastics be processed together? Yes. The same pyrolysis plant can process both with the tires and with the plastics. So you don't have to buy two sets of machines. Only one set is okay. As plastic oil is better quality and higher value than tire oil, clients usually process them separately or alternatively. For example, today you process tire, tomorrow you process plastics, like this. Question number three. What's the oil rate of tires and plastics? Tires have 40% to 50% oil, 20% to 30% carbon black, 15% to 20% steel wire, and 5% to 10% thin gas. Plastics have 20% to 75% oil, depending on your different plastic types. For example, PP, PE, and PS have 50% to 75% oil. Question number four, where can the products be used? Tire and plastic pyrolysis oil is heavy furnace oil, suitable for use in industrial heating and burning. In cement factories, garment factories, steel factories, boiler factories, etc. It is also popular for use in heavy oil generators to generate electricity. Carbon black has a good heating value, about 5,000 kilocalories. It is usually sold to factories using coal as fuel. Such factories can mix it with coal powder for heating. Steel wire is usually sold to scrap metal dealers. Thin gas will be recycled to the furnace to support your heating, saving your fuel. Question number five, do you have the analysis report of the oil? Yes, we have SGS reports for tire oil and plastic oil. We also have carbon black report showing the heating value. Please contact us so that we can send them to you. Question number six, will your engineer be responsible for installation? Yes, good plan technology and quality are essential. Good installation and training service are as important as or even more important than good plan technology and quality. It's very dangerous to fly a plane without any flying skill. It is also very dangerous if you cannot install or run this waste to all your recycling plant properly. So, Huayin will send an experienced engineer to guide you in plant insulation, test running, worker training, and after sales service. Besides, Huayin will share a list of installation tools with you so that you can do relevant preparation work before the engineer arrives. 3D drawing, layout drawing, and foundation construction drawing will also be provided 
based on your factory layout and other specific requirements. Question number seven, what else is included in the after-sales service? After-sales is so important that we specially built an after-sales department to offer the following services. First, reporting manufacturer progress to you and share pictures and videos. Second, checking goods before dispatching and taking pictures and videos when dispatching. Third, sending an experienced engineer for installation, test running and worker training. Fourth, after engineer comes back, the after sales department still provides lifelong service. They will follow you regularly and offer timely and professional response by email or online chat. Fifth, if emails or online chats cannot solve the problem, they will arrange video conferences for engineer and you. Sixth, if video conferences still cannot solve the problem, they will send engineer to your site if necessary. Question number eight. By the way, what's the raw material of inner reactor? The thickness? The inner boiler part of the reactor is made of 16 mm Q245R steel plate. See here the picture of steel plate. It shows 16 mm Q245R. It's like the name card of the steel plate, proving its quality. And see here the measuring result with micrometer. It is actually 16.05 mm thick, thicker than what we stated. Why do we use Q245R to make the reactor boiler part? Because Q245R can stand high heating temperature for a long time, so that the reactor can enjoy long service life. Why do we use 16 mm? Because 16 mm thickness can both ensure good heat energy transfer and long service life. This size is determined after Huayin's numerous testing. So this again shows the importance of a real factory, experience and technology. Question number nine, how to calculate the capacity of reactors? Or how much tires and plastics can I fit per batch? We know that volume equals pi r r h, weight equals volume by density. So for a reactor of diameter 2.8 meter by length 6.6 .6 meter, the volume is 3.14 by 1.4 by 1.4 by 6.6, .6, it equals 40.2 cubic meters. And each cubic meter could hold 250 kg complete with the tires. So the capacity per batch is 250 kg by 40 cubic meter. It equals 10,000 kg or 10 ton. So when you see the dimension of a reactor, you can calculate yourself how much tires or plastics you can fit per batch. Question number 10. What's the lifespan of a pyrolysis machine? The lifespan of inner boiler part of the reactor is 800 batches. After that, you only need to replace this inner boiler part instead of the complete reactor. The other systems could be used for many years. My friends, that's all for today's FAQ part. If you have any question about visitor to all your recycling project, please feel free to contact Huayin. Huayin is always here for you. See you next time. Bye-bye.